This video is brought to you by my newest book, The Secret to Perfect Landings, which in just 48 hours has already reached bestseller status. Inside, you'll learn about normal, crosswind, short field, and soft field landings. You'll read the chapter, then you'll be able to watch a video showing actual in-flight footage uh, of that type of landing or of that aspect of the traffic pattern. You can learn more and grab your copy by clicking that blue link right there on your screen or going to Secret to perfectlandings.com. Hey everyone, Jason Schaber here of m0a.com and we're currently flying along base to final uh, with my buddy Steve here and I want to chat a little bit with you guys about wake turbulence and prop wash and kind of combine the uh, the two here. Uh, what's happening is Steve's on final. Uh, there is a larger propeller driven aircraft uh, that's departing right out in front of Steve. Now this is a, a wake turbulence scenario we don't normally get to work with. I'm landing but there's a departing aircraft. Now uh, the solution to this is you simply touch down before their actual rotation point. Um, that airplane is not producing wake turbulence vortices off the wingtips until that nose wheel leaves the ground that airplane's flying. Now the exception is that in a case like this where that aircraft is still going to produce you know jet blast or in this case you're going to see prop wash now you can sort of see that airplane departing there i want you to watch the water you can see the water actually is getting stirred up right there on short final mostly because of the propeller blast the prop wash we're watching so here's steve he's on super super short final still doing everything right i mean everything is good air speeds Fine. and then all of a sudden he catches that little propeller blast right here here we are low slow over the water and now we're getting rocked around three or four times and Steve actually has to add a little bit of power here uh, to to get that airplane in it's kind of thrown us a little bit left of center line here um, and Steve is a great pilot, don't get me wrong, uh, but for my student pilots out there, I mean, that's an instant case where it is a go-around scenario. Now, was that wake turbulence? Well, I don't think so. Uh, they may have told him caution wake turbulence, but that more than likely was, was actually that prop wash like we were talking about. So it's important to remember that they say caution wake turbulence, you can do, you can fly it to a T how you're supposed to wake turbulence, and he did. He landed before the rotation point. That's what the book says to do. By the book, I mean the far aim. Um, he did it perfect. But you've got to think about prop wash, jet blast, that sort of stuff too, still stirring up that air. I think it's really neat. You could see it uh, actually on the water there. And you can see what it did to him. I'm, I'm talking Steve was at, you know, 150 feet, 100 feet at the time that happened. Um, you, you know, imagine that was your first solo or something like that. You know, that would certainly shake you around a little bit, no pun intended. Never hesitate to go around in a situation like that, guys. And when a controller says caution, wake turbulence, know that it could be more than just the wingtip vortices that those aircraft in front of you are actually producing. It could be caused by jet blast or propeller wash as well. So certain things to look out and watch out for. And guys, I wanna hear from you. Um, have you ever run into any wake turbulence or have any scenarios um, that you like maybe uh, uh, me to explain greater or, or go into more detail with. So share your stories down below this video on m0a.com. You know you'll get a reply from me in the comment section. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and most importantly remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day guys. See ya.